Let me start by showing you the wet continuous mesophilic fixed dome reactor. This is a brick built and gas tight plastered structure, which is often put underground. It has an inlet pipe where the waste material is fed into the digester. It has a digester with a volume of slurry, and then it has a gas holder storage space. What it further has is an outlet, or what we also call compensation chamber, and the overflow. You might also see here that the gas pipe is at the highest point with a valve to open or close the gas flow. In this animation, we can see how this works. The waste material is mixed with water and enters the reactor and mixes with the material already in the reactor undergoing degradation. Biogas is generated in the slurry through anaerobic digestion. The gas bubbles then move to the top part of the reactor where gas accumulates and starts to build up pressure if the valve is closed. When the valve is closed, the gas pressure will increase and push down the slurry in the reactor and up into the overflow chamber. When then the gas is used, the gas pressure drops and the slurry level balances out to a new equilibrium. A second type is the floating drum digester. You see this in this picture. It has similar features, the inlet, the digester for the slurry, the outlet and the overflow. But here now, the gas holder is not a fixed unit, but is a moving unit. Here it's floating on a water jacket. In some cases, it could also be floating directly on the slurry. With increasing gas pressure, this floating gas holder moves upwards. And when gas is used, the weight of the drum pushes it back down. In this design, there's also a guiding pole to make sure to stabilize it while it's going up and down. In, there's also a divider wall, which helps to avoid short circuiting of the slurry from the inlet to the outlet. You see it here. The digester is often placed below the ground while the gas holder drum is above ground. Here is an example of such floating drum digesters from India with the metal floating gas holders. The third digester type I would like to show you is the tubular digester, like this one in Costa Rica. These are quite common in the Latin American region. These are long horizontal lying tubes or balloons made out of plastic and rubber. The inlet and outlet are attached directly to the skin of the balloon. You see this here in a schematic. The balloon, the inlet and the outlet, and the gas pipe on the top. These balloons usually need some protection from the top as well as from the bottom. What we usually have is a compacted backfill. 